everybody, Patty Ann here. Welcome to the beach. Look behind me, isn't it gorgeous? But anyway, the reason why I'm here is I wanted to remind you to grab that free SVG file that I gave you yesterday. If you didn't get it, the link's right up here. I think it's here, it could, it could be there. <laughs> but anyway, grab that free SVG because in today's class, or minute here, I'm going to show you how to help organize your files so that you know what products you've used before with them and that kind of thing. And what we're going to use is something called the draw a note feature in Silhouette and it's available in any edition. So follow me down here. Okay, here we are in the Silhouette software uh, and this is the image that I made yesterday for you. The, the free SVG is available in that link. Um, also, uh, here's one way that you could do it on a shirt, but I'm going to get rid of that and I'll get rid of this text up here. So what I wanted to show you today was this. If you're going to use this out of a certain product, um, this note thing over here is fabulous to use. See it over here on the left hand side? I'm going to click on note, come over here and drag, and I can just start writing notes to myself like um, this image was a free download from Patty Ann, the, the site was, or is, <laughs> uh, patreon.com slash Patty Ann, period. I used, I'll just say I used Flock Vinyl. the setting and I could go on and on and give information about this what the setting was on my machine um, and that kind of thing and every time I open this file then I'll be able to see this information and I won't have to wonder well what in the world did I do or where did I get this image and is it free for me to use for commercial use and yes this one is definitely free for commercial use um, the other thing I can show you is you can change the size of this box. Now you'll be trying to change it like this, like I did for a long time. What you have to do is hold down your shift key and then you can drag this to make it different sizes. So again, I'll click on this, oops, click on it and hold down my shift key and I can change the size of this. I can also change the font, I believe, and everything else. But the cool thing about this is, is even if it's in the middle of my mat and I'm using a silhouette and I say send, that thing is not going to print or it's not going to cut I should say. You see there's no lines around it just like it's invisible. It's perfect. So this is what will cut. This is easy peasy. So let's go back to design. The prop Now there is a problem with using this with the Cricut because this little thing won't show but if you do save it and then reopen it in Cricut Design Space or in um, Silhouette software you'll be able to see this. So in other words, what I would probably do if I had a Cricut was I would highlight both of these and come up here to go to File, Save Selection, save it to my hard drive. And the first thing that I would do is I would save it as a silhouette file. I won't be able to use that for my Cricut, but in case I want to know exactly what I've used, I will have that reference right here on my desktop. After I save it as a silhouette file, and I can open it anytime I want you to look at it, I can also save it as an SVG so that I can open it in my Cricut Design Space. Like I said, the thing is in Cricut Design Space, this thing that's invisible will not show up. So you'll have to save it twice, but it's not a big deal if it's something that's been very complicated and you want to keep notes right with your product or your project. So I'd name them both the same thing, just one will be a silhouette file and one would be an SVG file. Okay, so that's my tip for today. If you want to get rid of this thing, just highlight it. Let me move this one over just a tad. Highlight it, hold down Shift and Delete, and it's gone, and there we go. So again, I hope you get this free um, SVG. The link is up above. And also, hey, think about joining my Patreon class. We are having so much fun there. I want you to check out right now some of the projects that students in there have been working on. So thanks again for joining me. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share this 
and also comment below. I love getting comments. Thanks again. Bye-bye.